Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the Elementor video series. In this video, we are going to install Elementor template kit on a completely blank WordPress website. And we are going to create a website right from the scratch. Now, this is the template kit that we have used in this website. And we are also going to create header and footer section for the entire website. Now, all the plugins used in this website will be free plugins. And we will also discuss about the problem that you generally face while uploading or while importing the template kit, the Elementor template kit. Sometimes you are not able to import all the sections of the template kit. Some of the page templates will not get imported automatically because you do not use Elementor Pro. So if you do not have Elementor Pro, we can use some different free plugins and import the template kits manually one by one. Now here in this video, we will face the problem of importing template kit to the WordPress website. And we are going to overcome that problem using some free plugins. So let's see how we can import the Elementor template kits using free plugins. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website. It's a completely new installation and there are no pages or themes installed on this website. So you can see the basic theme is installed on this website. It's a completely new installation. Now we are going to download the elements template kit from one of the website and we are going to use that template kit to design a complete website using WordPress. Now this is the website from where I'm going to download the Elementor template kit. Now the website is elements.envato.com. I'll give you the link in the description box. Now on this website you will see n number of assets you can download stock videos, stock photos, video templates, music, sound effect, graphics, plugins, themes. There are many assets that you can download from this website. So I'm going to download the Elementor template kit from this website. Now I do have the subscription of this website so I can download unlimited template kits to design WordPress website. I mostly use the Elementor template kits to design the WordPress website for my clients. Let me show you the pricing of Envato Elements. Here you can see the pricing is $16.50 per month and you can download millions of creative assets, unlimited download, simple commercial license, cancel anytime. So you can use it for one month and download a number of any number of media or the templates or themes. All right, so let me go back to Envato Elements and here I'm going to select WordPress. So as we are going to download the WordPress Elementor template kit. So I'm going to select WordPress and hit enter. Now here you will see, here you will see all the assets that you can use for the WordPress. Here you will see themes, plugins and template kits. So you can see that there are around 2,756 template kits. And these are the filters. You can use the filters. Now let's search for any template. So I'm going to, let's see real estate. So when you enter a real estate, you will see all the template kits. Here you need to check template kits. Now you will see all the template kits, the Elementor template kits that are available for a real estate website. There is a difference between template and theme. Theme is dynamic, whereas the templates have the static pages or the static design that you can use or integrate to create your own page layout. Now here you can see, let me open this one. Let's see how does this look. So I am opening all these. So here you will see the details of this template kit. So these are the template pages available. And here you will see the requirement compatible with Elementor Pro Elementor. So to use this template kit, you will need Elementor Pro and Elementor. So you need to check this also. If you do not have Elementor Pro, then you can skip this one. However, I'm going to see how does this look. So it, this, you will see the live preview of this template kit. So this is how it will look. Now let's try the second one and open the third one also. The second one says you need Elementor and 
that's it you do not need element of proof for this so this is how it will look this is the live preview of the template kit website and the third one says you need elementor and sometimes you will see the required plugins for this template kit elementor free elementor element kit light is another plugin that you will need to install and you will need elementor pro also and this is this one has some issues so we are going to skip this one now let's search for dentist i'm going to create a website for now let's consider that you want to design a website for a dentist so you can check templates for the dentist website so let's open some of the dentist website and go for live preview now the first one needs elementor and let's see if you will need elementor pro for this template kit so i'm going to skip this one however this is how it will look so if you have Elementor Pro, you can use this template. I do have Elementor Pro. However, for this video, I'm not going to use Elementor Pro. We will use the basic plugin. The second one does not need Elementor Pro. So we can go with this. So these are the required plugins. The third one has these pages and this template kit needs these plugins. This is how it will look. So let's close all the windows and I'm going to use this template. All right, so now it says download. So I'm going to download this template kit and it will ask you to select any project. You can create a new project or you can select one of the previous project and click on add and download. So now it's going to download the template kit. So I'm going to save it on the computer so the template kit will be downloaded in a zip format so you do not need to unzip it leave it as it is in zip format now let's go back to the wordpress website this is the fresh installation so what i'm going to do i'm going to disable and delete all the plugins that comes with the basic installation of this wordpress so i'm going to de deactivate all the plugins and then i'm going to delete all the plugins Now you can see that we do not have any plugin installed on this website. Go to appearance and we are going to change the theme also. So we are going to add new theme. The name of the theme will be Hello Elementor. And this is the basic theme used for the Elementor website. So we are going to use this theme. So if you do not see Hello Elementor here, you can enter Hello Elementor in the search box. And then you will see this theme here so this is the theme that we are going to install so click on install and click on activate now it says that we need to install the elementor plugin so click on install elementor so this is a free plugin that we are going to install on this website click on activate so this is the setup wizard. I am going to close it. All right, so we are back to this dashboard. Now let's go back to the template kit and let's see which plugins are required. So let's download this mate form. We are going to install this mate form. So go to plugins and click on add new and install this mate form plugin. This is also a free one. Activate it. The next plugin will be element skit light go to plugins go to add new search for element skit light and this is the plugin element skit install now click on activate so we have got three plugins here this one is teams flat add-on so let's go back click on add new and search for the plugin so this is the plugin click on install now all right now we need to create header and footer for 
the Elementor website. So I'm going to use one of the free plugins to create header and footer for the Elementor website. So click on add new and search for header and footer. Now this is the plugin that I'm going to use Elementor header and footer builder. This is a free plugin. So click on install now. Click on activate. All right, now all the required plugins are installed. Now let's go to settings and make the required settings. I'm going to change the name of the blog that will be dentist. Okay, so these are the basic settings, the name of the website. Again, now we are going to create a page, home page. Remember, we have not uploaded the template kit yet. Name this one as home page. Change it to element of full width and publish it. Leave it as it is blank. Just publish the home page. Now we need to make it as the home page of the website. So go to settings and then go to reading. Change the home page display to static page and select home. So this home page will be the index page of your website. Okay, now let's create a menu also. So go to appearance and then go to menus. Now create a new menu. I'm going to name it as main menu and click on create new. Okay, now let's go to view all and add the home page to the menu. So at the top, you will show the menu of your website and as of now, I have added home page in the menu bar for the menu. Click on save menu. Now we have got the home page ready and the menu also ready. Now let's go to settings. Now let's go to Elementor and then go to settings. Now here you will need to check these two boxes. Disable default colors and disable default fonts. By checking these two boxes, your Elementor website will use the global style settings of the template kit that you are going to upload. So it's not going to use the default colors and default fonts. It will use the colors and fonts of the global settings of the template kit. So click on save changes. Now I'm going to add one more plugin, which will help us to install the template kit on your website. And the name will be D theme kit. This is a free plugin. So go to add new and search for a D theme kit. So this is the plugin. Click on install now. Okay, so all the basic settings are done. Now we are going to upload the template kit. Now let's go to template and go to kit library. Here you will see different kits, the template kits that are provided by Elementor. Now here you will see import kit. Click on this small button import kit. Now select the file that we have downloaded. On my computer, I have saved the template kit on the desktop. So I'm going to select the template kit. Leave it as it is in the zip format. Select it and click on open. Now it says select which parts you want to apply. So leave it as it is templates. It says GoPro. So I'm not going to use anything here. Just click on import. Click on enable. Now it says your kit is now live on your site. So click on close. Okay, so the template kit has been imported. Now let me first refresh this page. Now here you will see the blank page because we have not created any header or footer. So let's go back and here you will see appearance and under appearance you will see header and footer. So click on header and footer. So this is the header and footer plugin that we have installed. Now click on add new. I have a separate video on how to use this header and footer. I'll give you the link in the description box and you can watch that video for more details. Click on skip. So I'm going to create header for the website. Name it as header. 
and this will be for the entire website user roles all okay now click publish so we are creating a header now click on edit with elementor now this is the area where you, you can add different elements to the page or the header now here click on add template we have already uploaded template so go to my template now here i am trying to search for the template and it is not showing the template that we have uploaded so some part of the template kit has been uploaded however all the page templates are not uploaded because we do not have elementor pro plugin installed on this website if we install the elementor pro plugin and if we re-import the template kit then it will show all the pages and all the sections of the template kit however now here we are facing a problem that we do not see all the template files so if I search for, I'm not seeing any file here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to the desktop and I'm going to unzip the file. So right click on it and extract the file or unzip the file. So I can see all the files that are in, inside the zip file. And under that, you will see the templates folder. Now in this folder, you will see all the template files. Now we are going to use these template files manually because we are not able to upload the template kit properly without the element of pro plugin so now click on my template again and here i do not see anything so i'm going to click on import template click on select file so i'm going to the desktop and i have this unzipped folder under that templates now i'm going to use the header file so i'm going to select the header style one click on open now it shows the file there click on insert now you can see that the header template is installed or inserted on the website now if you go to the preview of this template kit you will see this header section here so this is the preload style and this is the logo this is the main menu that we created. You remember that we created home, the main menu and we added home page there. This is the phone number. Now, if you want to edit this section, you can simply select that item. If you want to delete and upload your own logo, you can simply click on it and upload your logo here. If you want to change the phone number, you can simply click on this option, change the phone number. You can see the phone number here now. Here, get appointment. You can change the text if you want. Let's say appointment only. And click update. Alright, so we have got the header section. Now, let's exit. Now, we are going to create footer section. So, go to appearance and then go to elementor header and footer. Click on add new. Name it as footer select footer entire website and all roles publish it click on edit with elementor so this is the header and we are going to add footer here see so if go to my template and we can see only the header template we are going to do it manually if you have elementor pro it will show all the template files here automatically but now we are going to do it manually so click on this import select file now select footer so this is the file the footer file and here you will see footer click on insert now here you will see the entire footer section you can change the name or the you can change the logo from here you can add your own logo you can change this name according to your requirement you can make changes so these are the social media icons if you click on it you will see all the options here i have separate videos on how to use these elements you can watch my channel and you will see all the different elements that we have used here you will see the contact details of the business you can add your business address phone number email address 
So you can change the settings manually. These are the links to the pages. Here it will show the recent post. If you do not want this column, you can simply right click on it and delete it. So it will get deleted. You can add the form, simple form, so that people will be able to subscribe to the form. So this is using Metform. I have a separate video on Metform. I'll give you the link how to use the Metform and create the form here. So for now, click on update. So we have got header and footer published. So now let's go to pages and go to home page and let's see how does this look. So this is the header and this is the footer. Okay, now we are going to add content to the home page. So let's go to edit page. So we are on the home page. We have selected this element of full width. Make sure that you select this option. Click on edit with Elementor. So here we have header, footer. Now we are going to add the content. So click on this, go to my template. Click on import, select file. And let's say, let's see if we can install home. So we are going to use this home one. All right, now here you see the home one, click on insert. Okay, so you will see the different sections are added to the home page. Now you can make changes according to your requirement. If you do not want these services, you can delete them. If you want to change the image, you can change the image, add your own image, add new content. Now let's say this is the map. You can enter your address here and it will show the map of your location. You can add the contact forms. Now, let's say I don't want this latest news or the blog section. So I'm going to delete this entire section from here. If you want to change image, you can click on image and here you will see the option to change it. So you can download, you can upload your own image here. Now, I don't want this section, so I'm going to delete this one. You can simply look at this live preview and you can make changes accordingly. You can make sure all the sections are there. Many times there are some sections that you do not need on your website. So you can simply delete that. So this is a slider. You can change the name here. If you go to slider, you, can, you will see the settings. This is the slider. This is the text you will see. Let us brighten your smile. You can change this text. So let's click on update. And click on view page. We will see how does this look now. So you here you can see the logo, the menu, the call, the appointment button. This is the slider. And this is the home page of your website using Elementor template kits. Now let's add one more page here. So I'm going to click on new and go to page. Name it as contact. Select Elementor full width. Click on publish. Now let's go to edit with Elementor. Click on this. Go to my templates and click on import. Select the file that will be contact. So now we are using contact template. Click on it, open it. In one of my previous video, I have shown you how to import the template kits, but many people have the same problem that they are not able to see all the templates. That's why I'm adding these template files manually one by one. So let's go to contact, insert it. And here you will see the contact form, the contact page you may see that some sections are missing. So let's go to the preview of this website and here you will see the pages. So you can compare these two websites from here. Here they have a contact form. Now here the contact form is missing. So you can add the contact form manually. You can use the mate form or you can use 
the contact form 7 so i'm going to drag it and drop met form here so you can use the met form and here you can add the simple form so i'm going to show you how does this work i'll give you the link in the description box on how to use the met form and you will see the contact form has been added here so click on update and let's go to view page so this is the contact page of your website now you can make changes right now let's add this form add this page to the menu so let's go to appearance and then go to menus click on contact click on add to menu and you will see it here click on save menu let's go back and refresh it now you will see that the contact page has been added to the menu so this is how you can create pages one by one and use different templates to create those pages so that's it for now see you in the next video do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools if you have any questions please leave us message in comment section and press the like button if you like the video thanks for watching quick tips